Pokemon Unite Clefable beta moveset breakdown from El Chico Eevee. All the upcoming Pokemon are looking amazing. Let's see what Clefable's gonna do. Oh my goodness, it's legible text. Magic Guard, passive. The Pokemon receives a shield effect when it restores ally Pokemon hit points. The strength of shield is proportional to hit point restored. That is just strong, but a simple kind of self-explanatory support passive. And since Clefable has a lot of healing, it's going to get pretty crazy. Starter moves, heal pulse. Has user immediately restore hit points to itself and nearby ally Pokemon. So we got the synthesis and just, you know, simple healing start move. Disarming Voice. Now, this move looks nuts. Has the user let out a Charming Cry, dealing damage nearby opposing Pokemon, and decreasing their movement speed. But look at that damage! 700 to the Buzzswole on a support starter move. Wow. Okay. And then a nice little chunk onto the Audino. So, this is a Pokemon that can just walk up, go for the steal, go for some kind of trade, big damage burst, then can like auto attack you down, have some kind of carry Pokemon hit an opponent as well, they're slowed, and has a chance to steal, and then just heals through the heal pulse and walks away. That, that's nuts. That's gonna be pretty wacky, And but those are only abilities. After that, we're going to see the healing upgrades. Draining Kiss has the user attack nearby opposing Pokemon with an energy draining kiss. It's just going to be an AoE. Each opposing Pokemon hit by the kiss receives damage, releases an air kiss. These air kisses will travel to the user's nearby ally Pokemon with the lowest hit points and restore that Pokemon's hit points. No ally Pokemon near, near then it's going to go to the Clefable. Pretty much a lot of fancy stuff with the air kiss. It's going to leech, similar to Sylveon, and then it's going to go to an ally or you. And once again... This move does a lot of damage. It's chunking the Buzzwool, and then it's healing Blissey for an absurd amount. And it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, this is for each p p Pokemon hit. So, like, you're hitting Buzzwool and Mr. Mime, and then giving half of the health, or, like, half of Chansey's health bar back. So, you get in there, you try to get as many people on you, and then you just, like, giga mega heal. That is ridiculous. Upgrade. Widens the area of effect and increases the amount of hit points it restores. Okay. If, if Clefable gets in, it's going to have like a super leeching drain effect and that's going to be devastating. And we can see it being used again where it's like, okay, Talonflame getting half its health back and Dragonair just getting blown out. Now there is like a level advantage and it is bots on the beta test server, but still... That's a lot of damage, and that's a lot of healing. 1,400 on a support move? Whatever, all right, dang. And then we have the other healing move. So this was not shown through El Chico Eevee's gameplay. This is from the official trailer. Moonlight continually restores hit points to itself and allied Pokemon for a short time. User's movement speed is increased while this move is active. I've really wanted to see one of these kinds of moves in Pokemon Unite for a long time. Just a healing field. Healing over time, we're going to have to see the numbers. Can it compete with the Draining Kiss? Maybe, because like if you just set that up and like the team fight takes place there because of crowd control or it's on an objective and you're all fighting for Rayquaza and you're just not able to go down because of the strength of Moonlight, then that could be pretty powerful. Also with like other healers and effects and buddy barrier and shielding and stuff. So upgrade widens the moves area of effect and increases the duration of its effects. So this plays down shield, or not shield, an area. And you just go, hey, good luck trying to KO us in here. After that, we're going to have the upgrade to the damaging move. Follow me. Has the user moved to the designated location while waving its finger, drawing the attention of opposing Pokemon touches and opposing Pokemon near the designated location. As you can see, it's a pretty big dash. And it really looks like follow me draining kiss. Giga synergy. Just insane. You pull everyone into you. You get them off of the carry Pokemon that's getting blown up or the diver or the all rounder or something. You draw the attention, and then it puts you in a perfect range to just get a massive draining kiss, heal your allies, heal yourself, GG easy. It's it's pretty good combo. Effective and opposing Pokemon are forced to approach the user for a short time. It's also a hindrance. That's great. And tack it with their basic attacks. When this move is used, 
the re user also receives a shield. So not only do you dive in, but you get to negate the damage and you're restricting the opponents from using abilities, and if you hit a special attacker, their auto attacks don't matter. Increases user's defense and special defense when this move is used on upgrade, so there's nothing you can do about it. That's going to be annoying. And then that brings us to gravity, so Clefable might be one of the more cerebral characters in that it's not just, hey, always use this moveset. Could be the thing just because of how crazy Follow Me Draining Kiss is, or maybe like follow me into setting down a nice moonlight, healing everyone as you all dive together, and then creating very little opportunity for the opponent to counterplay it. But gravity also looking pretty strong for objective control. So has the user create a gravity zone centered on itself that persists for an amount of time. Inside the gravity zone, basic attacks change and deal increased damage. That's just going to be nice. Opposing Pokemon in the gravity zone have their movement speed decrease with this movement speed decrease effect becoming stronger over a set amount of time, the opposing Pokemon are also unable to use dash moves. And then if they try to use a dash move by entering the gravity zone with it, the dash move is stopped and that Pokemon is left unable to act for a short time. So you have Poppy. You have the Poppy grounding effect on a supporter. And this is where I'm just wondering, like, is this going to work out? Because a lot of fight stuff can kind of move around, and also X-Speed meta means, you know, you just run through it and then you dash out. But if Clefable is just kind of hanging back, supporting or just controlling very key areas, like, is setting gravity on Rayquaza when Rayquaza is below a third health, is that just a guaranteed take? Because no one can dash in to steal it, there's not a lot of counterplay into that. I'm wondering how strong this effect is, though. Can Garchomp come in because some dashes are unstoppable? So if the unstoppable dashes aren't stopped because this isn't slow beam, then how does that interact? Does the full heal immunity effect also kind of cleanse that for a bit or allow you to dash in or something? I think that's kind of semantic E and it's not going to determine too much of the power because it's like niche situations. But still, I'm, I'm kind of sitting here like, okay, so you set gravity with one of your carries hanging in the back, they can't get dove on. Absol, Lucario, pretty much every character in the game because there's so much mobility creep doesn't get to remove your Decidueye from the game. You're also giga healing it with the Draining Kiss or you just set a Moonlight as well and then the opponent can't do anything. So for an engage, this doesn't work. Like that's why I think that gravity, not that much of an engage tool. So a very front to back kind of team composition isn't going to want this, but if the opponent has a ton of dashes and you're playing a protect the X comp, fine. Then this might be the best move. Maybe it's always the best, because again, like you just set this up a Rayquaza and everything that happened in the last min eight minutes doesn't matter because it's your zone, your team's gonna be getting Rayquaza. So we're really gonna have to see what Clefable does in the wild. And then after that, we have Wonder Wish. So, a lot of speculation about the Unite move since it was shown, since like, wait a second, Clefable heals Lucario and then steals close combat, it's, isn't that just copycat? No, but it's also called, like, it, it waggles its fi finger, and by definition, Metronome is called Finger Wag in Japanese, but it's Wonder Wish, has all kinds of crazy effects. So, wag its finger, restoring hit points to an ally Pokemon in the area of effect, the lower the ally Pokemon's hit points is, the more the hit points are restored. So, very like clutch life saving. And remember, you get a shield! The user gets a random move that it can perform by using its Unite move again within a set amount of time, and some moves will act immediately. So, we have Close Combat, Hyper Beam, Block, Hydro Pump, and Fly. So, it using Lucario's Close Combat was just a red herring. You just randomly get to grab a move. I wonder how that, like, I, I don't know what that means. Like, is this just a consolation prize? Because it seems like Wonder Wish is just going to be strong enough as it is, especially with how much other crazy healing shenanigans Clefable's going to be doing. The RNG element kind of makes it seem like a meme, non-serious move, because I need Block right now to further giga defend my carries and, like, keep people off the objective and just win the game. I got fly or I got close combat. I don't know, but like if you get close combat, then that's big damage to use on Rayquaza. If you get hyper beam, that's big damage to use on Rayquaza. If you get hydro pump, you push people away. If you get block, that's a support. And if you get fly, I don't even know what the plan is. I guess you just like bait until you have zero health and then fly away and then land on an ally and heal them up and then set like some kind of field control. I feel like it's going to be useful no matter what you roll, but 
is it even needed? Because Clefable just seems busted outside of that. So yeah, there we go. Uh, Clefable, because of the nerfs that we've seen to Eldegoss and Blissey as primary healers, Clefable might just come in and trump that. I'm also thinking like you just play Blissey, Clefable, whatever lane, and then they're unkillable, they're unstoppable, and you just e-girl comp it back, and now run the carries, you know? I, I God, like four supports plus whatever the flavor of the month hyper carry is just seems unstoppable. You go Heldegoss, you go Clefable, you go Blissey, and then you have like Mr. Mind because that's a giga damage support with mega lockdown and also insane amounts of healing. I don't know who you support at that point, and then you just can't lose any fight. And it's not like as you Knight tethered as well because you just have uptime on regular abilities for massive healing. It's not like, oh, Bliss Assist, just disengage. They didn't take Rayquaza or Regilecki or whatever. Like, they didn't win the fight before it wore off. Now they have nothing for a big tool. Whereas, yeah, okay, you just Drain and Kiss on the Clefable. You distract with Follow Me. Mr. Mime's one-shotting your carry. All the damage you have thrown just got absorbed by all the other supports. And, huh, GG. It's going to be interesting to see what Clefable does, but it's looking like a pretty solid Pokemon. And I feel like this is with the upcoming pick ban, all of this is going to make sense. Like, okay, Sableye can be reserved as a counter pick, last pick, into score compositions that are trying to get built up. If someone picks Blissey, you grab the Clefable. I don't know which one's going to be higher priority. If someone grabs Mr. Mime, you go for the double healing with Eldegoss, Blissey, or Clefable, and then try to build comps around that. So, like... The depth of strategy gets cooler. Problem is, like, Pokemon Unite ends up just completely collapsing in solo or even duo queue because of how bad the player base is. And then Fives is always just, like, ugly and it's hard to get for the people that care about Pokemon Unite right now because it's a dead game, even with all this cool stuff coming out. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.